It's been a long time coming. It's well worth the wait. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 tragically hip songs. So I'm at your house this morning, just a little after nine. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. However, we're only choosing songs that are by the Tragically Hip, so tunes from side projects like Rob Baker's Strippers Union or Gord Downey's solo career aren't in the running. Number 10, Poets. Starts when a heart beats not only do we not know what the poets are doing, we don't even know who they are. But, as is the way when Gord Downey's involved, everything is about something. Released on 1998's Phantom Power, Poets first debuted in true hip fashion during extended live jams throughout 1997. However, the song didn't really take shape until guitarist Rob Baker later developed the chorus and signature riff. The song was tightened up further in the studio with co-producer Steve Berlin. An instant fan favorite, Poets went on to be number one in Canada for 12 straight weeks, and even managed to crack the top 40 of the mainstream rock tracks chart south of the border as well. Number 9, Grace 2. It could be based on the 1944 film noir Double Indemnity, it could be an attack on the UN's modus operandi, or even about a hooker and her extremely eager client. Mind you, Gord Downey claimed the title came from a teacher who had a canoe named Grace Two. Whatever its origins, the lead single from the band's fourth record hit number 11 on the Canadian charts when released, and number 19 when re-released 22 years later. But Bass heavy, guitar rich, lacking a proper chorus, and featuring the eerie and uncommitted backing vocals of guitarist Paul Langlois, Grace 2 is one of the hip's finest moments. Fellow Kingston area resident Dan Aykroyd even introduced their performance of the track when they played it on Saturday Night Live. My honor to introduce to America my friends that tragically hit. <laughs> Number 8, Wheat Kings. Sundown in the Paris of Prairie. Owing to, or perhaps creating, Gord Downey's status as the unofficial poet laureate of Canada, Wheat Kings tackles the wrongful conviction and subsequent release of David Milgard. Convicted at 17 for the rape and murder of Gail Miller, Milgard spent 23 years in prison until being released in 1992, and was eventually confirmed innocent once and for all in 1997 by DNA evidence. Milgard actually passed up parole 20 times, as accepting parole would have meant accepting the conviction. Dead and stark, it's a museum and we're all locked up in it. Not a protest song, far from preachy, and not even mentioning him by name, Wheat Kings manages to tell Milgard's story and the emotional root of it without a hint of melodrama or sappiness. Number 7, Little Bones. Written and recorded in New Orleans, Little Bones is loaded with typically eclectic references from Gord Downey, drawing upon either the Timothy Finley novel The Last of the Crazy People, which features a cat named Little Bones, or a New Orleans cab driver who warned Downey not to choke on the little bones of the chicken he was eating. The song also makes mentions of the Kennedys and makes a passing reference to William Shockley. Apple's second single, meanwhile, was a top 20 hit in Canada and became a radio and live show mainstay, despite Johnny Fay reportedly claiming as early as 1998 to not remember how he played the drums on it. Number 6, 50 Mission Cap. Bill 
Michael Barilko did indeed score the Stanley Cup winning goal for the Maple Leafs in 1951, but he went missing months later following a fishing trip in the James Bay area. The Leafs didn't win another until 1962, just weeks before Barilko's body was finally found. This is a story Gord Downey stole from a hockey card, which is most likely the number 340 from the 1991 NHL Pro Set Trading Card Series. 50 Mission Cap lays out the true story of Barilko's disappearance, and the hockey card the narrator kept under his hat, perhaps to keep the peak stiff while working in the veteran Air Force cap. Quite a hat trick overall. Number 5. Nautical Disaster I had this dream where I relished. Kicking off with a haunting bass line from Gord Sinclair, locked in place by Johnny Faye's drums and featuring guitar work as frantic as the storyline, Nautical Disaster is another hip song that doesn't exactly tick most of the conventional boxes. Lacking anything remotely resembling a chorus, and born out of live versions of New Orleans' is sinking, fans speculated that the song was about the Battle of Dieppe during World War II, the sinking of the Titanic, or even the Lusitania. According to Gord Downey, however, it's actually about the sinking of the German battleship Bismarck, and the cruelly conducted partial rescue of its crew by the British HMS Dorsetshire. Number 4. Courage for Hugh McLennan Watch the band, a, bunch of a common question among at least casual Tragically Hip fans is, who is Hugh McLennan? Well, Hugh McLennan was a Nova Scotian novelist and an English professor at McGill University. As for why Courage bears a dedication to him, Gord Downey had been reading McLennan's The Watch That Ends the Night, and even inserted a few lines into the song's lyrics. But perhaps there's more. McLennan, like the hip, was never afraid to openly write about the world around him, or to be upfront with his Canadianness, even if his publishers saw no money in it, and if critics accused him of being Canadian for the sake of being Canadian. So it's possible Downey saw a kindred spirit in the arts. Number 3. New Orleans is Sinking All right. A basic requirement for all Canadian cover bands, New Orleans is Sinking was recorded not in Canada or New Orleans, but in Memphis, Tennessee. The song name checks Hank Snow's and later Elvis Presley's manager Colonel Tom Parker, and at least one theory has it that New Orleans was a steamboat and not the city. But beyond that, it's anyone's guess. New Orleans is sinking, man, and I don't want to swim. Since 1989, New Orleans is sinking has become a forum for onstage jamming, and has seen David Bowie's China Girl and the Beach Boys' Don't Worry Baby mashed in. It's also the song that birthed both nautical disaster and a head by a century, to say nothing of the infamous killer whale rant. Number 2. Bob Cajun I left your house this morning About a quarter after nine Like Wheat Kings, Bob Cajun is a gentle acoustic number with a sinister underbelly. Moving past a sly reference to marijuana via Willie Nelson, the bulk of Bob Cajun is believed to deal with the Christy Pitts riot of 1933. Went back to bed this morning And as I'm pulling down out after a baseball game, the riot saw Toronto Jewish residents throw down against thugs from various swastika clubs, and damaged Hogtown's then pristine image. Despite all this, Gord Downey would later claim it's a love song about two gay cops. Perhaps it's both. As for what any of this has to do with the town of Bob Cajun, it rhymed with Constellation. 
A favorite among both diehard and casual hip fans, it was awarded the Juno Single of the Year in 2000. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, a head by a century. First thing we climb a tree, and maybe then we talk. A head by a century had a bumpy ride on the way to becoming the song we know and love today. Originally bass heavy, the song's various elements were retooled by the band members, with Paul Langlois adding his come and go backing vocals. As it began to look increasingly single-worthy, Gore Downey reworked the lyrics, removing a pair of C-words specific to each gender. While its parent album debuted at the top of the Canadian charts, the alternative rock track also became a number one single, eventually achieving platinum status in its home country. The song also has the bittersweet distinction of being the hip's last live song, capping their final show on August 20th, 2016. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.